Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a function called stretch to locators that I find really helpful for conforming multiple regions all to the same length. This is especially helpful when working with outside loops. I work with splice all the time, so when you drop in external loops, they don't automatically match the tempo of your project. Now, one way to approach this is you can simply set your snap to bar and then use an absolute grid and then hold the option modifier key while hovering your mouse over the right side of the region. Then you can drag each of these in one by one and you can set them to be exactly four bars in length. So that's one way to approach this. However, if you use the stretch to locators function, this can actually be a bit faster. Now, if you don't see stretch to locators here in the toolbar, you can simply right click or control click here, go to customize toolbar, and then you'll see the option here and you can hide and show the edit function. Now, the great thing about this is you don't even need to open the toolbar. You don't even need to add the function to the toolbar because there's a really helpful shortcut for this. So all you do is you set the cycle range, the locators, to the position and length that you want all of the regions to conform to, drag over all of the regions or just one of them, and press Option Command L. Then you're just gonna hit Enter to process each one of these, and there you go. It'll automatically conform all of those loops to a four bar loop. So again, before, they didn't make any sense together. Nothing's in time. Again, just drag over them, Option Command L, Enter, 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 and we're done. So this can be used for a number of different editing tasks. It's, like I said, not necessarily better than using the modifier key, but it's just another way to do it. And in some situations, it is faster. Like here, I want to use this white noise riser, and I want it to go from bar three to bar five. So what I'll do is just set the locators from bar three to bar five. And what you want to make sure you do when you use this feature is the front end of the region needs to be in the same position as the front end of the locators or the left locator. Because if I put this over here, it's a little bit in front of the locators and a little bit behind the locators. If I press Option Command L, it's going to make it the correct length, but it's not going to put it in the correct position. So it's important to always set the front of the region to the left locator, set the locators, select the region, Option Command L, and there we go. Likewise, you don't have to snap this to the bar line. For example, let's say I want to end with a white noise crash, and I just want the crash to be a little bit shorter, but I don't necessarily want to snap it to the bar lines. So instead of this being three bars long, maybe I'll turn off my grid snap and then just pull this back a bit. Maybe I want it to be there. I can select that region, Option Command L, and then that sets that to the exact length of the locators. Now this also works for MIDI. Here I have this beach side shaker loop that's in MIDI. And just like I demonstrated before, you can hold option if I want this to be at a slower pace at eighth notes instead of 16th notes. But the stretch to locators function works for this as well. You just set the locators Set the left of the region to the beginning of the cycle range. Select the region, press Option Command L, and you're done. For MIDI and audio that's already been processed in Logic, you will not have to press Return again to confirm the processing. It'll just automatically do it. So that's the stretch to locators function in Logic Pro. Again, it's not necessarily the de facto way to align your loops. It's just another tool for you to use. And like I said, in certain situations, especially when you have to conform multiple loops to the same length, I find this really helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.